Cruise and Blast released on September 14th for the Nintendo Switch. I don't think I've been this excited for an arcade game to come home to consoles since the 90s. If you've been to any arcades in the past couple of years, you've probably seen or played Cruise and Blast. It's a huge flashy arcade cabinet based off the classic Midway series, Cruisin'. The game was created by Eugene Jarvis, who worked at Midway in the 80s and 90s as a game designer. Jarvis developed several important games such as NARC, Total Carnage, Smash TV, and of course, Cruisin' USA. The Cruisin' series went on to have two sequels, Cruisin' the World and Cruisin' Exotica. 18 years later, the Cruisin' series is resurrected by Eugene Jarvis's own arcade game studio, Raw Thrills. Cruisin' Blast's graphics received a huge upgrade from the original three games, but the fast and fun gameplay remains. There are five tracks available on the arcade cabinet and several cars to choose from, each with a few upgrades available. The graphics are truly impressive, which isn't surprising since this cabinet runs on a gaming level PC to produce the high-end graphics. When I heard they were bringing Cruise and Blast to the Nintendo Switch, I was excited as if I was a kid finding out one of his favorite arcade games was getting a console port. Arcade games getting home ports really doesn't happen that often anymore. I received an early release review code and have been playing Cruise and Blast for a few days now. First off, the Nintendo Switch hardware did a great job reproducing the graphics of the arcade. There are reflections and puddles, sparks flying when you trade some paint with cars, and a satisfying amount of particle effects when racing. The game's soundtrack is almost obnoxiously good. I mean that as a compliment. The theme song got stuck in my head so badly I couldn't sleep one night after hearing it. Cruise and Blast on the Switch has the five original arcade tracks, but that's not all. There's an additional 24 tracks to keep you racing for hours. There's also 23 upgradable vehicles to choose from. These include licensed supercars, a Hummer, and even a unicorn. You can choose to play the classic arcade tracks or take the Cruise and Tour, which takes you through six sets of races where your performance is ranked by bronze, silver, and gold medals. Completing a tour unlocks another tour to keep you racing. Time trials and single races are also options that allow you to pick one of the tracks from the tours to play on demand, as long as you've unlocked those tracks. Vehicles can be upgraded by earning XP during races, XP unlocks a new level for the vehicle. Racers also earn cash by performing stunts, drifting, and picking up cash bundles on the track. This allows you to purchase upgrades for your vehicle. Upgrades include neon lighting, decals, body kits, and engine upgrades. Tracks also have hidden keys. Pick these up to unlock more vehicles in the game. Multiplayer exists in a split-screen option or multiple Nintendo Switches on the same local network, but no online racing is available. The arcade version had a great sense of speed. The cars feel like they're flying down the track, and in some cases they literally are, all while obstacles and huge set pieces appear to keep things interesting. The Nintendo Switch version doesn't lose any of that. The game feels very fast, all of the huge effects in the arcade appear to be present in the home version, except for when you smashed into the livestock on the track on the arcade, those have been removed from the console version. I think Cruise and Blast is a great home port of the original arcade. It expands on the original game and adds a lot of replayability. Online play would have been a welcomed addition, but local multiplayer is still an option. Cruise and Blast is available as a physical or digital release, and it retails at $39.99. I had a blast with this game and find myself coming back to it for a quick race frequently. Thank you guys for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to watch to the end of the video. I'm going to race two tracks on Cruise and Blast with a little commentary talking a little bit more about the game. If you did enjoy this review, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more arcade content. Leave me a comment letting me know what you think of Cruise and Blast for the Switch. I was really excited about it and I'm still wanting to go back and play more of it. Um, I'll stop talking now so we can watch some gameplay videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's get to some gameplay. All right, guys, I thought I'd play a little bit, maybe a couple races here. First of all, let's do one from the arcade mode. Let's get a single player, classic arcade. I think Death Valley is actually one of my favorites, so we're going to play that one. Um, I haven't unlocked anything new. I do have enough stuff to unlock something, so let's try this car out. Why not? All right, let's check out the paint jobs real quick too. I don't normally care that much about this stuff, but these, some of these neon ones are actually pretty cool. Let's go with that one, why not? 
<clears throat> All right, start the race. So there's a little bit of load time. The arcade has pretty much no visible loading time, but this is pretty quick, actually. Might even need to turn this down a little bit. So I apologize for not having a capture device for this. I do have capture hardware, but uh, when I bought the Nintendo Switch, I never thought that I would be doing a video on it, so I didn't think to buy the one that you could capture video from. Uh, any captures I have made have been through the built-in capture feature on uh, the Switch. So some of the stuff in the review might actually not look that great. That is not the game's fault. This game does look really good, but the capture stuff built into the Nintendo is kind of... Uh, Nintendo Switch, that is, is kind of crappy. I'm, I'm doing terrible because I realize I'm watching the screen I'm recording on rather than actually watching the Switch screen. <laughs> All right, let's, let's pay attention now. So here's one of those huge set piece things that happens in the arcade, which is pretty cool. They did add these ramps. I don't think I mentioned that in the review, but they are uh, added ramps. One thing I never realized until I did the review on this was there is drifting in the arcade. I didn't even notice it before, so when I went to go play it again and record some clips of it, I realized, oh wow, you can drift on the arcade, and I never realized I was doing it is the funny thing. Go over here, smash into some people's trailers. Sorry about that. They're crazy desert people anyway. I'm sure they won't be upset. Let's get that big boost. Oh, I bumped into the wall. Oh, cash. This is actually really cool. They were able to keep all that stuff in, I think. I mean, it's the only thing that is missing, uh, something I did forget to mention in the review when I was editing it, I noticed it. Uh, the tire fire that happens in the arcade where you bump into the tires and they go all over the place, that is completely removed for some reason. Oh, I didn't use all my boost. Talking too much. Boom, first place. first place. So you can see after every race you get your bonuses, you get your level up, which, wow, I got a thousand on that one, but it's a new vehicle, so you get them pretty quickly. All right, I had to turn the sound down. I'm not 100% sure if the theme song is copyrighted. I fear it is on YouTube and I'll get a knock, so I had to turn it down, which sucks because I really like it. But I'm gonna pick one of the tracks from here. Let's try this one, Twister Terror. We already did something similar. Let's do Canyon Chase. So this is one of the tracks that is on the Switch version only. I always like the zoomed out view of the car. You can kind of see what's coming at you a little bit more. I love this drift once I figured out how to actually do it. Oh, I just missed a key. So this game's actually got me kind of hooked, which is funny because we've owned this Switch for quite a while. I bought one game, it was uh, Bullet Storm, a game I'd already played on the Xbox a while back. And really, I just don't play that many console games. Oh, get that key. I just don't play that many console games anymore. Um, I don't know why, it's just I've been more hooked on the old arcades that I've been, been enjoying, so... But this one's basically an arcade game, I guess, so that's probably why I'm so into it, I guess. Really enjoying this. I find myself just wanting to come in and do a quick race quite a bit. And it's one of those games you can just drop into quickly. I've never made it up there. Every time I try to go up there, I miss it. Get out of here, cop. Just get out of this area. Oh, oh come on. So these burnout style takedowns are pretty cool, but I really don't know what the point of them is. I don't think you get much for them, uh, but still, it's kind of nice to be able to slow motion take down a rival there. It'd probably be a lot more fun if I had somebody I was playing with. You can kind of battle it out on the track and, ooh, got another key. You can battle it out on the track and have a little bit of rivalry going on. Once you run out of boost, by the way, if you keep pushing the boost button, it just does the uh, same thing it does when you double tap the gas. This, a uh, wheelie move that lets you jump over stuff, and so that's kind of nice. Once you're at a boost, just keep hitting that, and you'll keep doing wheelies. I think we're almost there. Just mash that boost button. Boom. I think it was like third. I'll take it. Since it was just a fun race anyway, I wasn't really playing for uh, trying to complete a tour or anything. 
Well guys, to keep this video shorter, I don't want this to run too long. I hope you enjoyed this review. Maybe I'll do more gameplay of this. Let me know. Uh, I know a lot of people on my channel are more into arcade gameplay, but if you guys want to see more of this, maybe I'll do another video with a couple more tracks. Let me know in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching the video, and we'll see you on the next one.